Hi everybody, I'm actually Brittany, and I'm so glad that you dropped by. I hope you enjoyed my wonderful, del delightful, uh, interesting intro. Uh, probably not going to do that too often because it did take quite a while to make um, for that little like 10 second intro. It took like 25, 30 minutes to make. So you might not have that all the time. You might just see my delicious face. And that needs to get out. But anyways, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little excited about this video and a little nervous at the same time. Like the title said, this is my very first video, and my nerves are kicking in a little bit. This is about the tenth time I've made this video, so bear with me throughout this. But my channel is going to be mostly, I can say all, but mostly about hair, nails, makeup, tutorials, things you like to do, things you like to try like crafts, do it yourselves, um, well, let's just put it like this, um, any kind of product you'd like to test out, makeup, anything, I basically just list it off, I, Brittany, will be your guinea pig, and we'll test it out, we'll show you how it works, what to do, what not to do, how to do it, how not to do it, do's and don'ts of, you know, the crafts, and the nail polish, and the hair, and the makeup, and Basically, I'll be your guinea pig. So, I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> Science. But anyways, um, I'm actually making this video today to show you a tutorial on how to do glittery rainbow nail art. And I actually saw a couple of different ways to do this online, like the French tips and like the whole nails. I'm actually not too sure what I'm going to do yet, how well it's going to look on me if I do do the French tips because that's originally, originally what I found and I really wanted to do them because they just look so gorgeous. But um, I don't know if you can tell, but these are unfortunately not my regular nails. I, everyone who is watching this that knows me, um, well, we'll tell everyone that doesn't know the fact. I am a chronic, well, just like obsessive nail biter. And it's like really gross and really disgusting. And my boyfriend yells at me, and I've been yelled at my parents, and everybody tells me not to bite your nails and everything. And I tell my son as well not to bite his nails, but I can't help but bite my nails. It's a problem. I wish they actually they do have a product. My mom told me about it, and it's this thing called nail stopping. You like it's a nail polish you brush on your nails, and you like when kids put their fingers and suck on them and bite their nails and everything. It's supposed to like, ugh, like really gross and sour or spicy and keep them from putting their fingers all up in their mouth and blah, 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 everything. But um, I'm really excited that you actually joined me today to watch this. And I'm actually going to be showing close-up videos of my nail, so I'm not going to have to be painting my nail down on the table and then looking down like a weirdo and then showing you and everything. I'm going to kind of do some TV magic and the next time you see me I am not going to have these ugly pink nails on. <laughs> I'm going to have neat nice kind of shaped nails on and of course you can do this with any kind of nail I am most definitely positive and I'm pretty sure you could do this with um well hopefully I'm not going to say pretty sure I'm going to say hopefully because I have not tried this out yet. Like I said, I found it on the internet and hopefully it is going to work. If not, it's just going to turn into a big old glittery nasty mess. And it's going to be all bad and my boyfriend is going to be mad at me because there's going to be glitter everywhere. But it's okay. I'm usually the one that cleans up the room anyway, so I don't really care. So, anyways, next time you see me, it'll probably be a close-up on these fingernails, which, again, I am not a nail model, so please forgive the nails if they are not 100% pretty, but um, we will be <laughs> doing some uh, speeding up of the nail process and everything so that you can be able to see it faster, just like, a, you know, a little explanation of it so you don't have to sit there and wait for like two hours while I paint my nails, but we will be getting right back. So. Like I said, we're back. Let me actually turn my music off because 
this took me a little bit to um, actually apply my nails and uh, shape them and everything. I know you can tell that they are not pink anymore, and they are basically about the same size. Um, I just use a regular press-on nail, just white. Like I said again, I am no hand model. I know you can tell. I know, but <laughs> sorry, it's a little backwards from my view. There we go. Like I said, took Sally Hansen uh, nail file and just filing them up and everything. Get that little piece of hair out of my mouth right there. But um, like I said, I'm just gonna tell you everything that you need right now. Obviously, we're gonna need paper towels to put our hands on. Just so that we're not going to get glitter everywhere. And I actually got these glitter packs. I don't know exactly if you can see them. There are 16 different colors. And there's really different colors. Like there are like three different kinds of pink. There are like two different kinds of green. A couple different kinds of yellow, blue, so on, so forth. You got the idea. I'm sure you know your colors. Um, <clears throat> I actually just bought a regular... NYC clear nail coat. It's actually long wearing. I'm not too sure how long wearing this is actually going to be, but we're just going to try it for scientific purposes on our nails. So, NYC, it was like a dollar at Walmart, and these glitter packs were actually probably about no more than three dollars. I know that. And I actually just went to Walmart and got a different package, well, not a different package, a package of different paint brushes because I went into the nail polish section and they had all of these wonderful brushes for nail polishes, but they were like $20 and I was like, these look exactly like regular paint brushes. So I just went ahead and got a package of these, which are about $3, $4 as well. And like I said, Everything super easy. I'm sure you guys probably already have half of this stuff at your house, but like me, I had to just go buy it. It cost me like three, four dollars for each item. Less than three, four dollars each item. So it costs less than ten dollars for my pedicure or manicure, should I say. Jeez, it is late at night. I am so sorry. I am doing my fingers, not my toes. We know this. Duh. But I'm actually going to take the largest brush. I don't know if exactly you can see that. It is about half the size of my nail. And I'm going to be using this one to spread all of the glitter. And conveniently, they come in these wonderful little packets. See? Wonderful, wonderful. This is actually like a red, orange, I don't know if you're able to see, oops, don't know if you're able to see that. Wonderful camera light. It's more of an orangish, reddish, copper color. I'm not exactly too sure which way I'm going to be doing them. I know the rainbow is in a certain way, but I'm sure that all of these colors are just as gorgeous as any colors in the rainbow. Either way, most of the fingers are probably going to be different. I probably am going to do the whole nail, but like I said, we're just going to wing it and we're going to test it and we're going to see how it goes. You know? So, ooh, this one's yellow. Ooh, that's my little sister's favorite color. Hi, Adriana. Just to say hi to some of the people that I know are watching this. I have two younger sisters, my best friend Nicole, my mother, my grandmother, and I can't believe I'm actually doing this, but I'm so thankful for you guys' support. And we're going to go ahead and paint our nails. So once you have all of your glitter, everything, just, I don't know if you want to do ten different colors, five different colors, two different colors, whichever you'd like. I'm sure there are many, many different ways that you could do this, but we're just going to try a couple, and I'm sure we could do a couple different designs on each finger. So, when you see me next, we're going to be all up close and personal with the phalanges, as Miss Bunny would say. We're going to get into it. Alright, so here we go.
Alrighty, so I just laid out my paper towel, and then I took my clear nail polish. Um, you don't have to have the same nail polish I did. Um, a clear coat of any kind or brand would do perfectly fine. Um, I also took my glitter and my brush that I needed, put it right beside me, so it could be within quick, quick range of grabbing. I then dumped out a couple feet, a couple things of glitter onto the tissue paper, and I then started to gather with my brush some of the glitter and slowly, I should say, brush it onto my nail. Um, I actually had a little bit of trouble the first time on the first nail, I will not lie. It kept clumping and rolling like you see me pulling off just there. Um, I then had to keep going over and over with the clear coat on this one and over and over with the um, glitter because it wasn't really gathering as much as I thought it would. I guess because the polish was drying oops, <laughs> a lot faster than I was actually putting glitter onto it because it wasn't gathering as much glitter as I thought it was. So it took me quite a while for this nail. It took me 25 minutes about in total to do both hands. But this nail was probably the most painful one to do because of all of the clumpiness that was getting on my brush. So I ended up uh, going to the next nail and trial and error, as we say, ladies, um, I went ahead and tried something different after I failed once again because I did do the same thing I did. So I opened my package and started along just like I did the first one and then got a little smarter and picked it up and uh, just started, you know, like tapping on it like you would a card when you were a kid in school and I just started to spread it around with my brush evenly which worked ten times better so this went a lot faster and then I just brushed off the excess glitter with the um, paintbrush and I kept brushing the glitter away so that none of the glitter would like cross contaminate the colors so none of the blue would be in the green and none of the green would be in the blue or pink or purple you know so I just kept going and like like I said after I figured out from the first mistake it got pretty easy from there on out so I took the wonderful lovely orange color and you can do this like I said in any color it doesn't have to be the colors that I'm doing it in but this way that I actually found out was a lot easier than to dip the paintbrush into the glitter and keep transferring it because that probably would have taken me all night but please if you like the crisp clean look that I got without the colors running in to each other just brush like keep brushing off the glitter so that you don't pick up any excess glitter with your brush and put some green into some orange or some blue into some yellow so I'm just actually zooming through them at this point because it's so easy after you do one and then two and for my last but not least but of course biggest surface nail I have I chose my sister's favorite color again my sister that I had mentioned in my blog yellow and I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that on there. And I also brush my uh, paintbrush off in between brushes so that when I go to brush all of the glitter off, I won't contaminate it as well.
And then I just put on a clear coat so it didn't feel all rough like sandpaper and all of the excess glitter didn't fall off of my nail. Because nobody likes loose glitter. And then I was done. See? Was not that hard. And just like that, guys, we're back. I am actually loving this TV magic kind of thing, and I hope you guys are too. Um, I really hope that my view of it was okay enough. I mean, I did not have, like, the best stand to put my camera on and make a view, but I'm sure I will get it down packed, like, trial and error, like my first nail. Anyways, I'm so glad that you guys um, stuck uh, watching this video. I am actually filming this 24 hours after doing my nails because I was way too tired to film it last night. I was getting into the wee, wee hours of the early morning, say like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I did not, you could not understand what I was saying. Not at all. I, it was bad. But anyways, I think it's better for you guys so that you are able to see what I have after sleeping up. After sleeping in my bed, rolled up in my covers, in the horrible, horribly cold state of Delaware with uh snow on the ground. I, I don't I don't like snow. <laughs> bad, bad weather. But, I mean, I rolled around all night in my covers. I'm by no means a sound sleeper or a, or a still sleeper. But these came out way better than I expected. I mean, I mean I'm not going to lie. They came out way better than I expected. I did not expect them to even stay on my nail. When I started, I honestly expected them to be a big, giant, blob on the end of my nail that just had clear nail polish and glitter all in it and I, I thought it was going to be bad but I am proven wrong so I will never doubt anything ahead of time again so anyways like I said I am so happy you stopped by to see my very first YouTube video and I promise not all of my videos will be this long because I did have an intro at the very beginning. Anyways, I hope you really liked what I did today. Hit your button down below, subscribe to my channel please, and leave me a comment. I would love to try anything that you can think of. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'll be your guinea pig. My name is Brittany and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Stay beautiful.